an explosion of new agents entering our treatment options for CLL. And acalabrutinib is a BTK inhibitor recently approved for use in, in frontline as well as relapse refractory CLL. Um, the difference between the previously available BTK inhibitor brutinib is, is potentially a different toxicity profile. So the goal of doing this real-world outcome study was to look at patients treated in the real world, not on clinical trial, who received a calibrutinib, um, mostly for a brutinib intolerance. And we found that the rate of discontinuation of a brutinib um, a calibrutinib in patients who had not tolerated a brutinib was low, suggesting that this is a well-tolerated alternative for patients who would benefit from BTK inhibition but can't tolerate uh, a brutinib for, for whichever side effects. I think the importance of real-world data is becoming more and more apparent as we have these agents really rapidly entering our treatment options because doing a specific study comparatively takes time to mature, especially in CLL, which is a chronic disease. So by looking at large um, cohorts of patients treated, it helps us answer questions such as sequencing, um, adverse events, uh, rates of infection, and it helps us figure out which patients benefit from a certain sequence versus another, and additionally, cost of therapy, which is becoming more and more important as we get a, a combination therapy, whether or targeted therapy, whether as a monotherapy or, or a combination moving forward.